Hey, what's up YouTube? What's up Redskins fans? Listen, this is my first video on my new channel, Fat Skins. I love it. I love that name. Fat meaning P-H-A-T, fat, cool, but I'm also a little chubby, so I think it works. Anyway, I want to make this video really short because I want to get started on this new channel, and I hope if you guys do like what you see, if you stop by and you enjoy this video, that you would subscribe and you'd hit that like channel just to support me. It would really show me that people out there actually want to see this stuff, and I can bring you more content about the Redskins. I can also bring some information about the NFC East, the Cowboys, the Giants, the Eagles. I will be doing that in the future as well. What I really want to drop on this video today is obviously the game coming up to tomorrow night Monday night football oh my goodness Monday night Monday night prime time baby if you're a true Redskins fan like me then you know what might happen tomorrow night against the Saints it's the same old story right we go into the bye week to prepare forever for the next team and what happens we lay an egg. I don't like to be negative, Nancy. I'd like to think that coming out of the bye week, having all this time to prepare for the Saints, that we might actually have a chance against them. We always hope there's great preparation coming out of the bye week to play that next team. The Saints are a damn good team this year. Not only do they have Drew Brees with all those weapons around him, but they also have a really good running game in Kamara. So it's going to be tough to really contain both the run and the pass. We're just going to have to be stellar on defense this game. But again, I'm so worried because we always know what happens coming out of the bye week. With that said, we now have a running back. Adrian freaking Peterson. He's doing his job. He's working, right? On paper, we have a fantastic quarterback and we have wide receivers and tight ends to surround him to actually do the job. So offensively, I think we're going to do well this game. It's the defense that worries me. Speaking of Adrian Peterson, he did something really, really cool this week for his offensive line and his quarterback. Alex Smith and offensive line got gifts from Adrian Peterson. And I think it's just a way of him saying thank you for helping him so that he can actually hit those holes and rack those yards up and help his team win. I think it was Friday he came to practice and he presented the offensive line and Alex Smith with scooters personalized scooters. I wish someone would buy me a scooter. I've never had a scooter. I would love to ride a scooter for once. So yeah, all of these 300 plus pound offensive linemen are riding around in the locker room on scooters, right? AP basically said it was a way of him to show appreciation to his offensive line and to his quarterback for helping him. Not every player was happy about it though because some of the players didn't even get a scooter. Imagine if you're at the practice facility and here comes Adrian Peterson with all these personalized scooters, all these gifts, giving them out to the team and you're the only one who doesn't get one. Guess what? Jordan Reed did not get a scooter and I don't know if he was unhappy about it or he was upset about it but he did tweet out that he couldn't believe that he did not get a scooter. It didn't seem to me when I read that tweet that he was that angry about it, but could you imagine, you feel a little disappointed that you didn't get a scooter so that you could ride around in the locker room with all those big offensive linemen? So Monday Night Football, the Saints versus the Redskins, I do have a prediction of the score. I do not think the Redskins are gonna pull this out. I really don't, and I hate to say that because I am a Redskins fan, but I've seen this all before. I do, however, think because of our offense and because of our defensive line and some of those guys up front in the defense, we might be able to make this closer than a lot of people are going to think we can. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't want to say that because I don't want the Skins to lose. Maybe they won't lose. Maybe they'll win. But at this point, eh, I got to go with that score. All right, YouTube. All right, Skins fans. That's all I have for you today. If you like this video, again, please subscribe. Please hit that like button. Let me know that, that you enjoy this content so I can bring more of it to the YouTube community. Hell to the Redskins. Prime time, baby.